Hi, my name is Meg and this is how you replace the Bowden tube on your CR10 or CR10 version 2. Changing the Bowden tube on your 3D printer is a straightforward and pretty easy upgrade, but if you're struggling with where to start, I'm here to help. First, remove the tiny blue clips on both ends of your tube. Don't lose them. Next, grab the biggest wrench that came with the printer. Loosen the nut and pull out the tube. Repeat the same process with the nut on the back. If you have secured your tube to your cables with a zip tie or something else, remove it before proceeding. Now it's time to remove the nuts from the tube. Both nuts have a white level which allows the nut to move up and down the tube. Press this and gently loosen the nut from the tube until it slides off. If your tube is warped like mine, you can also slide it in the opposite direction until it comes off. Discard your old tube and get your new one ready. I chose to install a Capricorn tube, which came at about twice the length I wanted, so I cut it in half. If you do this, make sure to square off the end of the tube that you cut so there won't be any filament leakage due to a misshapen tube. To install the nuts on the new tube, just slide them on with the white level on the inside and the threads on the outside. With the nuts now on the tube, push the tube as far as it will go inside each respective spot, then screw the nuts finger tight before you use your wrench to screw them in completely. Remember you don't want them to be over tight, just tighten them until it's finished screwing in without twisting hard. Once they're secure, replace the blue clips. If you're like me and you like things to be very neat and orderly, don't forget to re-zip tie the tube to the cables. This keeps the cables away from your gears, hot end, and bed. And that's it! Just load your filament and you're ready to print your next Persona 5 mask and planter bowl. At least that's what I print. Do your thing, girl. Stay sweet.